Okay, guys. Here we have with us Castanea plumilia, also known to us as the Allegheny chinkapin. Now, my understanding, this is the closest living and surviving relative that we have to the American chestnut that was killed by chestnut blight. Down here in the southern part of Georgia, there are three different chinkapins that I know. There's a Florida chinkapin, there's a running chinkapin, but this is the one that I consider, and every everybody else I've showed it to, this is the Allegheny chinkapin. So I'm gonna pull a limb off, and we'll go down here and we'll look at it, and we'll kind of compare it, okay? All right, let me sit underneath this tree. Okay, Allegheny chinkapin, if we look at it, we're gonna have a leaf. Get some of these bigger, more mature leaves. These leaves are said to be about three to six inches in length. Yes, it is. Okay, and one and a half to two inches in width. And a serrated edge. Uh, it, it's well, it's really got a tooth. It's got a toothed edge. Serrated edge, not really. If you look where it comes off of the, uh, the vein, there's going to be a, a, a very fine tooth right there on the bottom of it. On the on the underside, it's going to be kind of pale and kind of whitish. If we look at the ventation, it's going to be parallel ventation coming off of the main vein that runs down the length of the leaf. Okay. Also, if we look at the stem itself, it's going to be slightly speckled. And if you look at the branch, it's going to have alternate buds. One on the left, right, left, right. Alternating buds, so that means it has alternating leaves as well. And sometimes you can look at it and you can tell that they're just about zigzag on you, growing to the left, growing to the right on the tree, and you can notice that kind of in the fall. The fruit that this has, well, you, you can see the, the spring, spring florets that you kind of have, it kind of coming out. This tree, it's a bigger tree for Allegheny chinkapin. It's probably about as big as it is. It's a small tree or a big shrub that here, and it produces little bitty burrs, very similar to a, I've never seen a real live chestnut in person, but it'll make a burr about big as your thumb or a little bit smaller with a, with a nut in it, about half the size of your thumb, okay? Very easily, some folks tell me to be confused with the sawtooth oak. Here I have in my hand a sawtooth oak. If you look at the sawtooth oak, this is going to be very shiny, okay, on one side, and on the underside, it's going to be kind of green, kind of a yellow-green look look to it. And if, and if you look at it, let me put, put them up side by side with one another, we can kind of tell what we're looking at here. Here is the sawtooth oak. And here's the Allegheny chinkapin. They pull leaf off so we can kind of compare them. Okay. First of all, one of the one of the noticing things I kind of see is going to be the length of the petiole. Sawtooth oak looks like it's a little bit wider at the base. Both of them have parallel ventation. But man, look at look at the big teeth. Got a little bit of curve to them right here on this sawtooth oak. Okay, these these on this Allegheny chinkapin a little bit finer. And if you look at it, Allegheny chinkapin is fatter in the middle, and it gets kind of lanceolate on both the back and the front. Look how pointed the sawtooth oak is.
right there on the tip. And it also has a tooth right there on the tip. Okay. That one's kind of double tooth. Oh, probably where veins coming off. And truthfully, I don't see any of these leaves on this Allegheny Chinka pen that have a, well, I guess they kind of can a little bit. But they kind of, these are kind of rust or ready on the back. Also, not really pubescent, but Allegheny Chinka pen is kind of white on the back. Um, Allegheny Chinka pen, if it was a bigger tree, it would be a lot more common uses, but the tree really doesn't get that big. It's a good wildlife tree, but it, it is too um, susceptible to chestnut black, and there's not many around. Just fortunate to find one that's got this size and, and this produces this much fruit. Um, I've never ate any uh, chinka pin nuts. I'm sure they're good. The American chestnut was supposed to be one of those trees that was good to the cradle to the grave. But this is all we have left. This is Allegheny chinka pin. It's one of our trees that we need to know what's on our list.